have been watching our cowboy action adventures, you've noticed that we've had a little trouble with our Rossi lever gun. Uh, after several attempts with it, it's, it's basically a good weekend shooter. It's just not up to the rigors uh, of cowboy action shooting. It's not up to uh, the volume that we put through it. It's not up to the uh, different types of ammunition. And um, we've kind of retired it in favor of what we have here. Now this is a Cimarron branded Uberti. Uh, it's the saddle shorty with the 18 inch barrel. And what you're looking at here is actually what is called a Cody Matic in cowboy action shooting circles. It is customized by Cody uh, Conagher. Make sure I try to get the name right. Uh, Cody's Cowboy Shop in West Virginia. Uh, what he does is he takes the rifles. You can look them up on the internet. Just look for Cody Matic. He takes the rifles and he does a custom action job on them. He makes them a little bit less ammo sensitive and he puts the short stroke into the action and smooths the action up. And I, I don't know how to convey via a video how smooth the action is on this rifle. It's, um, it's kind of there's just no comparison. Um, there, there's just really no comparison, no way that I know how to explain it. Uh, the, the action is just so light and smooth. It's amazing. So, uh, what you're going to see here today are actually the very first shots with it. We have not fired this since he sent it to us. Uh, we got it uh, less than a week ago. In fact, four, three or four days ago, we went and picked it up from our local gun shop where it was shipped. And we have run the uh, lever on it multiple times and drooled over it. Um, it's just really a, uh, a very good looking gun, um, but I'm really excited about having the Cody Matic action in it. One thing I will say that I'm uh, not disappointed, just kind of surprised is that there's no markings on it to identify uh, that I can find. Maybe there's some internally that he puts on it. Uh, but I can't find any markings on it that Cody put on here. Uh, I kind of almost expected the uh, underside here on the brass to have an engraving or you know, something. Um, it, it just kind of surprised me. Uh, that he, he didn't at least visibly sign the work that I can find. Maybe, you know, maybe he did, and I'm just missing it. Um, yeah, don't know. That is something I'll ask him. But uh, check him out online. Just Google Cody Matic and look him up. He's in West Virginia, and if you're in need of a, a good cowboy action rifle or you just want a nice, really slick working 1873 Winchester, um, replica. Uh, look them up. Uh, I'll have to say that this looks really, really good and it's supposed to be customized for cowboy action shooting. And we're going to try it out here today and see what happens. Loaded up, chambered. Very first shot. That was my fault. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to. You do have to uh, cycle it with authority, and um, it's just going to take a little bit of getting used to. Not unexpected.
not bad. Should have brought some paper towels down to the range with us today because it is, even though it's after six o'clock, we're in Georgia, it is hot and humid. So, now this is Magtech uh, ammo that's loaded larger. This is actually all that the Rossi would run. So what we're going to do is try uh, same box, but this is actually a different uh, different round. Uh, this is loaded for cowboy action shooting. It's got the flat top. We're going to try these. This is what we ran in the pistols, but it would not run in the Rossi. It just wouldn't run. So we're going to see how it does here. Chambers. It actually seemed to run better. Hey, what I'm going to do is just dump five. That's much nicer. That's much nicer. What we were seeing before may just be a sensitivity to this ammo, because this is a, even though it's a standard 38 load, it actually has a real long bullet on it, which is making it longer than these. That would not run in the Rossi. This is all we could find that would run. So that's why we ended up getting those. But this seems to run fine in here. And you're also looking at a, uh, a big price difference. I think these we end up getting in bulk for about 26, 25, 26 cents a round. And these are over 30 cents a round. What's amazing to me is without really even aiming and just trying to run this as fast as I can, I'm still nowhere near as fast as those other guys. Uh, it just speaks to the level of skill and practice that they have. I'll go back with these rounds now that I've got the feel of it a little better. Yeah, definitely doesn't like these rounds as much. Not sure why. I think they're a little longer. We've reached the end of the tube there with that.
Okay, I see what's happening. Let me show you what's happening. The way this rifle works, these do have a little bit of a flat nose on them. There's no way it could actually set off the primer. But what's happening is it's under pressure. These don't slide as easily past. So in this carrier, when you start to cycle the lever and come up, you're rubbing the bullet across the back of the casing here and it's catching and you can feel that. So that's why you have to shuck it a little bit harder. With these, which is a cowboy action load, those technically are not, that's just what ran in the Rossi. But with these you see this flat top there, there's hardly any resistance there. It just slides right over it. And that's what the difference is. That's why this has given me a little trouble uh, shucking the next round in. Glasses have fogged up and I can't see anything. You're aiming low. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Um, so who's next? What's your clutch for? It's moving right here. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what. Ten. You put five in everything else, 
And then you didn't tell me you put in 10. Oh, there's 10. There are five loaded five. in it. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Right? Right. Five. No, five. 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 We're positive. Five. All right. What do you think? That's nice. It really is nice. We need to put a picture of butter in here so that the subscribers know that it is as smooth as butter. Is that thing, wow. There's no comparison, especially when you can try to compare it to the Rossi. Because this doesn't really hurt my hand. The Rossi, even after Robbie worked on it, hurt my hand. So, I like this one. I should be able to beat y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what? I like this thing. Okay. Now load it. Put Good. five rounds in it. I think I... To let y'all know how much I like this thing. I like it enough that I might actually consider cleaning it. That means a lot. Ooh. I hate cleaning. So... You like dirtying and you hate cleaning. Why yes. doesn't that surprise me? Yes. Load it up. Huh? Load it up. Put five more rounds in. <laughs> See how it loads compared to the Rossi. This is going to be weird because this is the first time that I've loaded this thing. You can push them all the way in. How was that? That's on this one. You can Rossi. push them all the way in, and it doesn't matter if the gate closes. You can load the next one. Mm. I like leaving it so I can push it the next one. I've already formed a habit. Yeah. Kind of like you, and not putting the hammer down. Hey, don't bring my bad habits into this. Uh, I can bring my habits whenever I want. Especially when you make fun of mine. That's nice.
you're supposed to focus on the front sight while you're shooting. Based on that, I should have gotten about a 60 inch barrel. <laughs> well, I had to get prescription shooting glasses the way this keeps up. Hey, I, I, I'm right there with you. Non fogging prescription safety glasses. It loads a lot easier. It definitely does. I'll give it that. That is just such a smooth action. And getting used to the action a little more. The only ammo that we've had trouble with here is the Magtech. And what's interesting, when we got a loaner gun, when one of the guys loaned us their gun at the uh, last match we were in, uh, we were shooting this ammo, and that's the one those Uberties were having trouble with. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I mean, we ran all of the other uh, cowboy action ammo that we had. Not one malfunction. Never missed a stroke. Never had a problem. It's just with this, it seems to be a little bit more sensitive to getting it to cycle. Correctly. I mean, I'm using three fingers, and it's just amazing how easy it cycles through. Let's try that 50 yard target again. I think I can get focus on this front sight long enough. Or maybe not. Is there a front side on here? Yeah, there it goes. Oh, yeah, I found it. Yep, yeah, I actually felt that not load. Um, Something else I like, the way this is designed is if you're not sure if you've loaded around, just pull the lever just a little bit. Doesn't disrupt anything. You can immediately see that there's a round in the chamber. Even just a little bit of a motion there. And you can probably look when there is one in there and see it. Now the action on this was worked on and customized, so I can tell you I've cycled a stock Uberti uh, that's all stock and, and how it works, and this is, this, this feels very different. Uh, it's much smoother, again the, the stroke is shorter, but something about the way the lever closes, um, it closes tight against the gun. Most of the stock ones stop right about here and you have to pull to get it to shoot, which in competition is not something that you want to, to struggle with. And I guess that's a safety in a way, but uh, it does stop. I mean, right now, trigger won't work. Um, you do have to pull it that last little bit, but that last little bit is extremely light in this setup, which is nice. Because um, it's common when I pick up a stock one, I'll cycle it. And then I'll just keep pulling the trigger and nothing's happening. And, oh yeah, I've got to pull this up. And it, it's a good hard uh, pull to collapse that. And, and you have to, to grip it and hold it. The way this is set up is just immediate. You just, a little bit of pressure, pull it up. It naturally falls there. All in all, I'm happy with it. Um, not happy with my shooting abilities yet.
It's going to take some practice. The um, semi-buckhorn sight, if you can look down that, I'm trying to pick up where the sight picture goes. It does have a gold bead front dot, uh, front sight. And once I get the sight picture, I'll do a little bit better with it. Right now it's getting dark. My eyes are old. I'm having trouble focusing on the front sight and even finding it. Maybe if I paint it bright neon green. Might help. And a lot of you may be curious about this dust cover. Um, you wouldn't want to, of course, run the gun and fire it with the dust cover, cover closed, right? It's just, you know... Well, that keep that's it's a suppressor. Yeah, that's it. It's a suppressor. When you fire it, you leave this on here, and it, it keeps the gases in, makes it ultra quiet. You can't even tell that it fired. Um, or it could be that you closed it when you put it in your saddle, or when you're out riding the range, so that you don't get dirt or gravel or something in here. So when the Indians charge, you get your rifle out, open the dust cover, and start. And if you forgot and didn't open the dust, co dust cover, it would blow up, uh, right? No, well, they thought this through. This is the gun that won the West, so uh, they had to put a lot of design effort into here. Now, let's see what happens if we cycle the lever with the dust cover closed. Wow. Perfect. They really thought that through. I can tell that didn't load. I can't explain the sensation. And it's these rounds, because I can see, see it turning the round sideways. And I think it's just that rounder nose. I, I don't know the way it's scrubbing off of it. That is nice. Wouldn't you like to shoot it again? I would, but my glasses are way foggy. Well, I don't know if it's fog or sweat. Let's take my pinky here. Let's just try it with my pinky. Nothing but the pinky. Wow, that's smooth. Off my front side again. Yep, didn't load again. And I can tell because it cycles and it's like I hit something. It just kind of bumps up against it and closes. Um, now, all of us kind of have a habit of closing the lever after we finish shooting. That's something for cowboy action. That's a habit we're going to have to break. Um, it's not, as a recent rule change, it's, it's not uh, a, what do they call it, a procedure violation? Procedural. Yeah, it's not a procedural anymore, as I understand it, to put the rifle down with the lever closed unless they come back and open it and find that there was still a round in it. Then you're going to get a procedural. Um, but the best habit is to end when you put the gun down to pick up the shotgun or to go to your pistols, whatever's next, is to leave it open. I have a habit of closing it. That's something that I'm working on breaking. Yep. That's how you should put the gun down. That is just amazing. Even cocking the hammer is just, that's light.
Hammer. Hmm. Hammer. I got my checker here. She's right behind the camera. Keeping yep. me honest. Yep, that ammo just snags up. It's doing exactly what it did with those Abertis on the range uh, at the last match. So that's ammo we won't be getting again for cowboy action for sure. We're going to pick up some, uh, well, I've still got some, but uh, we'll definitely pick up the right ammo. And when we start reloading our own ammo, we'll make sure that we tune it, run a batch, and work it out so we get those nice flat tops just the right length. And we'll be good to go. So I'm happy with it. Rob's happy with it. Sam's happy with it. I think this will be a good, good gun for us. Now it's time to clean it.